right, welcome back. This is day six of Nick's Intermediate UI UX Design. A lot of people will end up having missed this one due to the fact that we initially thought it had to be canceled due to technical difficulties. So it's going to be recorded. So people who are watching us in the recording, welcome to the recording. Yes. Otherwise, Nick, what are we doing today? <laughs> okay, we start to recover. But that's the proof that I'm not giving up. You know, I never, ever give up. It's uh, And, you know... Uh, always paid off. So thank you for joining today. Thank you, Marjorie. Sorry for everybody. Sorry for this uh, late introduction, but we're there. So today is the last day of the Intermediate UI UX design. So it's uh, very exciting because I'm going to talk about things good and things that we will need for next week um, for the first uh, session of the webinar for the iPhone and iPad, right? So uh, iPad first, then iPhone, right? So uh, today we are going to talk about uh, um, master details and um, navigation, right? So the navigation between layouts and the, the navigation between records, pretty much. Uh, the master details, it's the way we navigate through records, uh, related records, or local records. That is the, uh, what's the name, the master details. And then we have the navigation through layouts, right? So we have navigation through layouts, navigation through um, records. So let's share my screen right quick. Here we are. So what is, what is the master detail? So why we call that master detail, okay. So master detail, you we have that all of, all over the place. But the, the the one most common that we can we can use is the music app. So let me let me open the music app and show you. That is not that is not an uncommon kind of a paradigm. You have a list here. So the master detail it's the 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 design paradigm that lets you navigate through different entities, right? Different records, right? Like this and you can, so you click master details, you know, master details. So we click here, master details. So, so this is the music app. So that why I'm doing this. So, so why I'm introducing all the way, all the time, another, uh, you know, another application or another website, because I want to show you that it's not a file maker stuff. It's a design stuff and file maker what we do with FileMaker, we create pretty much applications, custom applications. That's what we do with, with FileMaker, right? So uh, it, it makes sense to use the same paradigm that we have for other applications, right? It makes totally sense. Uh, another one here, we have master details, right? You know, you know master, you know, master details you know, is, is the same. So we have the same here on Discord. You have master here and detail here. That's exactly the same. So you can... You know, and, and I'm not talking about the chats like Slack or WhatsApp. You know, we have the same thing. It is very important that you, you, you learn this for next week because next week we will see that for the iPad, it's extremely important. So, so how it works. So FileMaker, so the master detail, we have the same here. Master, 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 master details, right? Master detail. Master detail, master detail. So pretty much when I change this, this change, all of this. So FileMaker introduced a new object recently in the in the in the Claris Galaxy because we have to take uh, we have to take the habit of now saying Claris and not saying FileMaker. That, that will be very hard for me because 35 years of calling FileMaker every day in your life. It's like changing wife after 35 years of marriage. It's pretty much the same. And so uh, so Farmaker introduced a new object. So it's the local, the local portal. Most of the time, we use portals as master, okay? And always, pretty much. So we have, here we have an example uh where is my example uh maybe not here we have two master details here so we com we combine two most of the time and oh, i will say always 
uh, but you have some exceptions. We use, for master detail, we use portals. Those two are portals, right? This is a portal, and this is a portal. But, but, uh, before, we FileMaker, we couldn't do, we couldn't put a, a portal that was pretty much showing the local data. So let me explain uh, here. Let me open this and I'm going to explain it because it's very important for the, for the, 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 the audience to understand that, right? So let's say here, I'm going to uh, create a new layout, right? Computer form. Okay. I'm going to build a new layout. And I want to build the master details in that, you know, in that layout. So I have my pretty much my details first. You know, and now I want to build the master. So I have the details and I want to be the master. That means the, the ability to do this, the ability to navigate through records, because this is what he's doing. If I'm doing this, right? If I'm doing this, it's the same as clicking here, right? See, if I click here, see, on, on, on the top, like this, if I click here, it's the same as clicking here, right? Exactly the same. So I want to do the same here. So how do we do that? In the past, it was a pain in the neck to do that. And it wasn't even impossible to get the thing right. right. So up, so far, uh, Clarice made the, the objects. Right? So we, we select portals here. And we drag here like to create a portal. And here, right, I want to put, for example, here, I can show records from the current table or the related table. Before FileMaker 18, it was impossible to do that. It was impossible to go and select the current table. So what that do, what that do, when we say current table, it shows here a list. So for example, if I'm doing this, uh, state and city, right? it shows a list, right? So I don't have a lot of records here. So it shows the list. And I can, so, so uh, I, I don't know, uh, I don't have a good example here, but he shows, he show a list here, right? Uh, which one uh, I said, oh, city. So I say, for example, Fairfield right here. And I say, uh, uh, here I say New York, okay. And here I say, I don't know, uh, San Francisco. Okay, so you can see here, Right, I have the possibility here to navigate through the records, like I will do like this. See, tuck, tuck, like this, or tick, click. It's the same. So it shows, it shows. So let's say I'm putting uh, here, what the, the field I put here? A state, okay. So let's add, let's, let's do something. Let's add a name field. Name field, okay. Let's add a name field, and I want to. Sh so it, this object here is like a portal. It's it is a portal, right? So I can show now from the current table, and I can add name, okay. So let's build some good. Let's build some good uh, sample. So I'm deleting everything, okay, and I create a new record. Oh, if I put the name in the layout, it will be better. So let's put the name. The name, okay. So let's put the name and the city because this is what I have. Let's remove this, okay? So it's cleaner, it's cool. So the first I have here, here I have a uh, mulch. Okay. You, you, where are you? Okay. I'm in Woodbridge. 
Sorry. Woodbridge. Wood, Woodbridge. Okay. So now I have Nick. Oops. Nick okay, is in Bogota. And I have uh, Rick is in Fairfield. Fairfield. And I have Diana in Fairfield. I do, I do on purpose to do the, the two things, right? So do I feel, yeah, I, I knew I was doing something wrong. I, I never, I don't know how to, I do this. Always first field, I reverse the, 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 the E and the, the I and the E, always. And uh, I will do Jacob is in oh, Los Osos, okay? Okay, so so I have so you see you create records and now you hear and hear that the same, right? So clicking here or doing this is the same, right? So now I can do a search, for example, and I can do a search on Fairfield. I have two records, right? So the master detail with the portal is following the font set and not only is following the font set, uh, I can put, uh, what's the name of your cat? Cat name? Uh, Bella. Bella. Okay. Not only the master details, like, Farmer, like Clarice did it, okay? Follow the font set, but also the sort order. So pretty much the master detail is to have a condensed, small, tiny list view, right? A condensed, small, tiny list view into the, your layouts that will let you navigate like this, right? Pretty much, it's like in the past, or most of, even today, we have a list view. We can go here, navigate from one list view Click here and you go to the to the to the record to the you change the layout right. It's the same. This is to have a little tiny list view inside the same layout that you let you go and have a list view, and you can search. Right, you can search, you can sort, and the list view and this portal automatically we follow automatically we follow the sort search. And that is important, but it's not only this. Clarice did the thing right for change. What happened here? Look what happened when I do this. I click here, next record, next, next, next. So let me sure, okay. Next record, next record, next record. So look what happened now. Clicking next records, it will automatically will show, it will move in the portal. Look, the portal follows. The portal moves because Clarice did that a perfect synchro between this here, the go to records, and the portal. That means when we reach the end, look, if I reach the end, tuck, 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 up, it move, you see there, that's, it moved the portal. Before, that was impossible to do, or pain in the neck, and it wasn't, it wasn't working. I tried many times to do something before. So, uh, it is cool, right? It is cool. To to uh, to have this right, so we have this object. The so that one now the master detail, it's more than ever a good thing to do, because we have a, the perfect object that help us to do that. So that is the master detail using the local record. So let me explain what we call local records. So we have two types two types of records. We have the local record. That means 
I am in the T05 context, that portal goes to the T05 context. I am in the local records. The, the I am, the, this here shows the records of the current table, the local table, current table. This master detail use a poll as well, it's the same, but showing related records, not current, related records. So it works exactly the same way, right? But you have much more work to do. Why? Because they are rec related records. Those are records local. So automatically, FileMaker made that when you click on the row, you go to the, to the, to the record. It's like doing this. But the portal has this behavior only when you use it with the current table. Current table. But if you do related table, uh, 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 it works come like before. That means <laughs> you need to do a much lot, much more, much more work to get it work. So how it works with the related records? Okay. It, it's not very complicated. Okay. So let me build it, you know, for you. Let's say I want. Let's say this was the current table, okay? And this was the related, okay? And here, uh, I have a pr primary key here, and here I will have a foreign key, okay? So I'm doing, deleting this, and this I, I say this is a foreign. Okay, change and I, 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 I remove this and I remove this and all this. Okay, oops, remove this always. Okay, so I have a foreign key here and here I want, uh, like for example, name CTR, you know, uh, department. Okay. Our departments. So now I have two tables. And I want to build, right? I want to build a master detail. A master detail, right? So I have departments, but I need something else. I have departments and I have description. What I have to say? Description. I have two fields. So now I have this. I want to build a master detail, right? So first of all, right, I need to create some, you know, some uh, related records. So to build this, we need to show this here. Uh, I need to, you know, show this. And I want to build some related record. So how we do this? Okay. Uh, I'm going here and I'm showing the re the master key. So you you know eh, how we how we build master uh, related records. So we show the master key, right? So let's say Dia let's say Diana in Fairfield. I'm copying this best thing here. Diana is the finance, okay? Pays me, not enough, <laughs> okay? That's the finance. And in Fairfield, also, we have another department. It's the, you know, the admin, administration, okay? Uh, do all what I don't like, okay? And in Fairfield, we have another department 
which is our, you know, their support. <laughs> Call the boss. Okay. Oop, not the boost, the boss. Okay, so we have three in Fairfield. So now, so Diana, okay. So now we have on Jacob. So here we have another guy doing here that or server. So that is or yeah, server. Ser server uh support, okay. Uh, save my life many times. Saved. Okay. And we have another one here. Department, Jacob. Uh, it's, uh, what is do? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Amazon. Amazon support. <coughs> Knows what I don't want to learn. Okay. So, Pretty much, we have two, okay? And we can do another one in Bogota, right? And here we have one. So I copy this, and I say the department uh, webinar, you know, uh, uh, bad Mac computer. Bad. Okay, so... Now, what, how we can, so we have related data here, okay? We have related data, we have all those records. So we have three here, two here, one here, okay? So we have the foreign keys. So now we have everything, right? We have everything to connect the dots. I have my sample file and I have everything. So what the master, when we have a related master, the first, what we need to do, I want to show, I want to show all the records related by the foreign key, all of them. So that's easy. We know how to do that, right? So I'm building a portal. Oh, first of all, I need to, the, 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 the relationship. It's primary key, foreign key, pretty much. That the, that the you know, that is the, the relationship. So here, I want to show the record from the related table, right? And I want to see the department. Boom. Okay? So now here, here at Bogota, I have webinar. Diana is finance administration support. Jacob is server and Amazon support, right? We good? Right? We we good. And now I can do this, right? Allow the creation through that record. And I say, okay, uh, Nick here, say, okay, uh, you know, developer. Okay. So took, I have another one. So you see, this here I'm showing all the records related by the for, by the primary key, right? So that's pretty much the same, that easy. But now how I could so that my master, that means in Fairfield Diana in fine Fairfield are free. But now I want a master. I want this to become a master, and I want to show details. So how we do this? So how we do that? It's not that complicated, but you will see you have many things to do. The first thing is this. We need a relationship to establish what is the master, what is the detail. To do so, we need a global, okay? Departments, so pretty much what I'm doing, I'm saying, Jay, Selected, selected departments, and it's a global. Right? It's a global. So I want this relationship here, it was to show all 
related record. Now, I'm doing the same, so I'm duplicating this because I'm going to the same related table and I want another, another relationship. I want this one. Selected departments with the foreign key here. So I need in the related table here to create a primary key as well. So I'm going to copy this one and put here. I need a primary key as well in that table because, right, I, I forgot to do that before, because each record needs to be unique, you know. In, the, in, this, in this table here, I need the primary key and I need to populate this, right? I need to populate this. Why? I need to populate this here, right? Records, replace. Oh, why cannot we replace? Not the first time I'm doing this. Uh, why can't we do replace here? Oh, uh, because it was like prohibits modification. Okay. So I want to populate this with UUID like he should have done, right? He should have done this. But we can do that manually, right? Boom, I have UUID. So now each record has a primary key. Each record I have a different key. If I create a new record, new record, new record, new record, see, they create primary keys, right? Okay, so let's see that. So you have all records have a primary key, all of them. We have here a foreign key. That means those three belong to the same record here. Each record has its primary key. So. I want this global field right, to be related to the primary key of this table. So let's follow me. The current table, this table here, has a relationship with that table right, with the foreign key. That means one record here has many records here. Three, two, two, okay? So that's why each record here, one record we show the three, the other one we show two, okay? Now here, that relationship, we it's for the selected related, you know. Selected related record here. So how it works, okay? In the global, in the global, remember my selected department global, okay? In that global, oh, I want first to do that. Each time I'm clicking here, I want to display a detail. See, when I click here, I'm displaying the details of this. When I click here, I want to display the detail of those two. I want the details of the departments, right? It's not easy to, to explain the, the concept, huh? so it's... Uh, I hope you guys will get it. Okay. So I'm going to do the I'm going to do a visual link here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do this. Oops. Okay. Oh. This took. So I have the description and the department. And right. I want to have a visual connection between this. So I'm doing this, right? Doing back. 
and I'm putting this, I'm gluing, I remove this here and here, I remove this. Uh, no. So I have a visual connection between the two. So this is how we do this in, this, in term of design. This is how we do quickly. That means we have a, a visual between this and this. So now I want, each time I'm clicking on finance, I want to display finance and the description. So for example, the primary key of finance is this. When I put the primary key of finance here, I click here, boom, I have finance. Why? Because I'm asking this key, this key is unique for each record. Unique. It's impossible to get twice the same. I'm saying put that key in a global, in that table, and then do a relationship from the table here to the table here using the global and the primary. That means the global here match the key here. So if I change, I copy this one, look what happened. Boom, administration. If I select this one, boom, support. Okay? So each time I click here, so how we do this? We need a button, okay? So that the, the hairiest uh, part of it is to do the button. So unfortunately, that's what we need to do, right? We cannot do the economy on this. So we put a button, right? And the button is transparent. I can put an icon. Most of the time I'm doing this, right? I'm putting these arrows as an icon and I'm putting this aligned to the right. So now I have a nice button here, right? That I can put on the portal, right? But this button here, I want this button to be transparent. So known, click, 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 click. And I copy this, all the style I'm making transparent. So now I have a nice looking transparent button, right? And I want to make it sure that this button is on the background. Okay. So now I have a poll. with an edit box on top of a button, right? So I have a button on the back and, a, the, and I have this box on the top. Okay. So now that I have this construction, right? I can make my, my button. So what the button? Pretty much could be, could be a single set field. So look at this. I'm clicking on the button here, on that record, that record. I want to set up, I want to set the selected departments, the global, I want to set this global with whatever primary key of that table. So I'm going there and I want the primary key. So what this button's doing? Okay, what this button's doing? Sorry for that. On, when I click on the button, on that row of the poll, it will populates in that field the ID, the, pr the primary key of that record. 
demonstration. Oh, I need to uh, make this field not editable because otherwise, you, you know, you, you, it will edit on top of the of the button, so it's not editable anymore. Finance administration support administration finance. If I click here, webinar developer. If I click here, server Amazon. Right. So you see, I have now my master detail. I click here, clicking here, puts the primary key in that global, and the global, I use it for a relationship to those records. So now I can even change this uh, server support, uh, you no know, best server support, bump. best server support. So now I change the title of this. Right? The advantage of this, I mean, the advantage of this, you, you understand, is that now we can do something like this, uh, more evolved, right? Click, 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 okay? And we have a, you know, each time we change, you know, we, each time we change, okay, we change, blah, 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 blah right? So we change, we change, we change. See? So we have related records. So we have one master detail. So that's the advantage, right? That's the advantage. Uh, we can have the same for uh, ma many other things, right? I don't know if tasks, no, tasks, no. But that's the only example I have here. So you see what I mean? We have multiple notes and then we can click on one note and then we you know, you see the notes and you can and you can edit, right? So that's pretty cool, okay? So we have, and visually, you can build something like this, right? So you see, for example, here, I can change the dates. I can put today date, or, you know, I can put the date uh, before, right? You, know, you can change the dates, right? It's in May now, right? Uh, and you can change the notes, the type or what it is, it's an outbound email. Boom, you change it. You can change the subject, uh, next test, right? So you, you see what I mean? So you see here, so when you have multiple records like this, right? It is easy to make modification, right? So, you have one table here showing all the related table, all the related records of that record. And well, all of them. And then when you click here, you populate the global with another relationship that will use the primary key of that record, of that related record here. You populate the key into a global and the relationship will say, okay, I have one record, it's one to one. Why? Because there's only one uh, UUID. That means uh, the UUID is unique, right? So populating that record, uh, that field, that global, with the ID of that record, you should to get only one record, right? So you don't need further. You need. You need. You don't need further building here. But now, right? Uh, so this is the pretty much introduction. To the master details. It's very important that you guys get it. Because now, uh, if we if we don't have an, another question, I want we have to have a follow up actually. Okay, okay, go ahead. Um, yes. You can right click the field and make it a button. Uh, right click the department field in Portal, and you can convert the field to have a button I, action. I, I never use that do a that. lot, and I just want to make sure there aren't any drawbacks. I never use that. So if you want my opinion, I will give it. Why? Why I never do that? Because it's 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 awful. Button setup on a field. For example, uh, show dialog. Right. Low. Okay. So now this field is a button. Okay. So it looks. You know, it doesn't look, you know, we cannot get rid of this uh, gray stuff. We cannot. Uh, it's not, 
here if you say it's see i have no control it's a group he says it's a group right and i cannot do like this you know in focus pressed right i have no idea i have no control all when it's grouped it's a group um and if it's very confused confusing right and if you ungroup it you lost the button button lost you lost it you ungrouped it it's it's very 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 bad executed by filemaker why is because i tell you what since the beginning of the time of filemaker this is what it was we never had a you know Everything was, I can put that a button if I want. I can put anything about, I can put that a button if I want. I can put a, a, the wall panel a button. I can put anything a button. But that is not because since the beginning of the time, FileMaker did that, that we need to follow that. You say, and, uh, and thank you for the question. The question is very, is very good. You say, make a field a button. That's what you say. I will say, made a button a field. I prefer. So how we do that? I remove this. I remove the, the field. I have a button. That's all. I double click on this. Remember my trick? Double click. I double click on the field and I click OK. Now, I go to merge field and I merge the field into the layouts. So now I have this field as a text. It's a text, right? If I change, that's a text here. That's a field and that's a text. Now I can cut the text, double click on the button, Say I want a button and an I, I want the text and an icon, text icon, see? And I paste this here. So now, look what I got. So 26. I have a button field. This clean. This is cleaner than making you feel the button. Why? Because now I can do this. It's not a group, it's a button. This is not a button. This here, it's a grouped button. It's, it's not a button. So it's a group. I don't have control. Here, I have hover. Over. I have pressed. I'm doing extreme. Okay. So now here I have much more control. Right? And it's a button. Here, I want an icon here. I want an icon. No, it's a group, uh, it's a group button. Right, so I cannot put, you know, I can put an icon. There's no icon here. Here, I can put an icon. You understand? Here, I don't. I, I can. So, this is an old. Uh, they should have got rid of this, but anyway. So you, I hope I convince you that it's better to make a button a field than to make a field a button. You know what I mean? Because if it's a button, by definition, you don't want to edit the field. And when you have this function, and if you have a grouped button, you cannot edit the, the, the button anymore. You can edit the button, edit the field. So why keep it a field if you cannot edit it? You, you know what I mean? So this is why I'm not doing this. And of course, if you ungroup this, boom, by this, I can ungroup it all the way, and I can copy paste, and I can, okay. So it's a, 
look, I, 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 I prefer by far doing this. I have an icon, I have the text, I have the hover, I have the press state, I have all my states and stuff like that, right? So if we don't have another question, I hope, I, you know. Uh, uh, no, they said, thank you. You're the, gr you're the best. Uh, people appreciate the explanation. So you okay, yeah, yeah. It's a, sometime, you know, look, uh, this is my opinion on this. Sometimes it's good to abandon old techniques, you know, old things that pharmaco didn't want to get rid to not hurting people, but right? pretty much uh, because I, I use that, you know, in pharmaco three, four, five, six, seven, right? But since pharmaco 12 and uh, Crunchy Frog, that was the name, the code name, since pharmaco 12, and we have this button setup that we didn't have before. Before we had this, I don't know if you remember, before we had only this, that's the only one uh, showing what we want to do. Okay, that was the first introduction of the master detail. So uh, I know I, had only, I have only a little, a little space here, but I want, to, I want to talk a little bit of the, uh, what's the name? I want to talk a little bit of the, you know, the, the navigation. I will come back. Anyway, I will come back to talk about master detail, of course. But uh, uh, I want to show you the difference between the two, right? This, this master detail and this master detail, right? It's very different. So this one, you don't need a button. Here, you need a button. This is the big difference. Here, we don't need a global field. Here, you need a global field. So it's a... You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, so let's talk about navigation. So navigation always, always be a problem. So I will, I'm going to just showing you the difference, the difference between navigations, right? But I'm not going to do it in detail like I did the, the master detail. Uh, on the iPad and iPhone uh, session, I will go further on this because so why I'm talking about this now is because for iPad and iPhone, the big, big, big issue we have is the navigation. And Scott Kane, my friend Scott Kane here, is waiting with her anxiety file because I keep modifying for his iPhone app the navigation. And it's a big mess when you build an iPhone app, the navigation. It's very hard to get something good on an iPhone. So it's very important to, for you to get the notion of navigation. We have multi-type. So in the past, in the past, we uh, pretty much thought that this would be the best navigation. Right? So a band on top, an icons. Okay, on top of the screen, you have icons here. I, I mean, buttons here, right? And each button go to a go to an estimate or go to contacts. So you have a script here, and pretty much the script says go to a layout. Right? So we navigate through layouts, right? And uh, with buttons. Before we didn't have the uh, what's the name the, the button bar, so we were building one button and another button and another button and another button, you know, side by side. Now we have the button bar, right? That pretty much has been invented for that purpose. Okay, for that purpose. So, for example, here. I am in the account layout. So this bottom bar has the segment account active demonstration. Right? So browse. Oh, why well, can't I go to browse mode? Oh, that'd be it. That's cool. Exit. <laughs> okay. I cannot go, so 
that open like this. So I go to browse mode. So I have account selected. When I go to contacts, when I go to contact, yeah, because it's, uh, when I go to contact, it's contact that is selected, right? So each, each layout here, right? When I go to contact, now it's contact that's selected. You know, you have the bar on the bottom like this. So we have the bottom bar and we can select which one you want to, uh, to, to activate. So for example, here, where's my layout here? So here, let's say I want to do a button bar, right? I have a, you know, layout one, I have layout two, and I have layout three, right? And I want this to be the layout one. So that layout one that will be active, layout one active, right? If I want layout two active, I'm going there, and I change this, right? Of course, to be, we have a lot of button bars. Uh, March, you can maybe you can find it there. We have button bars webinars uh, about this. So this is pretty much the most common way of navigating, right? So I'm using it here. I navigate here, details, list, emails, you know, maps, and uh, follow-ups, you know. So. This is a master, it's, it's the same. It's a uh, button bar and each layout has this button, right? And I'm showing this, you know, and I'm making the button are, you know, uh, active. So this is a, the first navigation we have. The, and the button here says, go to layout, right? We go to, the, go to layout, right? Here, go to layout menu. Uh, here is go to layout follow up. So it's pretty much a go to layout. And in each layout, I have the same button bar showing the, a different segment active. Okay. This is the first. It's good, but it has a problem. The problem is we cannot make it, uh, or we cannot make it easily um, customable. That means, oh, uh, I, let's say, I can see account, but I cannot see contact and estimate. Or I can see account and contact, but I cannot see estimate invoices. You know, like with my privileges, I cannot do that easily. I can, but it's very complicated. And it doesn't look good. So that's why. We have another layout, another way of uh, navigating through layouts is the hamburger menu. So what the advantage of this? Okay. The advantage is this. All, every single, here, every single layout has to have this, you know, on the top. Let's say all the layouts, all the layouts needs to have account, you know, all account layout needs this, contact layout needs this, estimate layout needs this. Okay. Let's say I don't want account, you know, or I don't want, I don't want to name that client contact. I want to, I want to name that clients. Right. Okay. So I, I rename it clients. I rename it clients, okay, but here, right? But this layout is still contact. So I need to go to all the layouts and change clients, 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 all the layouts. So if you have 60 layouts, you need to do that 60 times, right? So you got it. It is not the best solution. It is the best solution. It is the good solution. Right? Uh, if you have a small file, but if you have something more, you need something like this. So we need a car star window right? that open the layouts in list view. This is a list. 
So you can see I have much more thing. I have a whole account, counter estimate, invoice, project, product. So here I, I can't have those. I have half of it. Here I, I have much more thing here, much more, right? Projects, click. Contact, click. Account, right? So, and what happened here? When I go to preferences, right? Navigation, and I say, huh, this is not contact, this is client. That's it. So demonstration. Here, clients. Clients. Always be clients. It always be clients. Always. I don't need to rename it from any other from product. I click here is client because from all the layout, from all those layouts, I'm calling another layout in a window. The layout is named hamburger. Hamburger. This is a layout. It's a list view. So you see the simplicity of this, right? So we have our hamburger menu. Okay, meatball, hamburger, hamburger, meatball menu. Okay, so, so you got this, right? So the advantage of doing that technique is first, you don't need to go to all the layouts and do it. You can rename it on the fly. So let's say I want it, I want it back contacts. You know, go preference, navigation. Contacts, that's it, it's there. It's there, contacts, wait, contacts, see? So I didn't, and I can put an icon. I can change the icon on the fly, right? So you have two versions of the icon, the black and the white. Why? Because I want this, white, black. Now here, this is white because it's selected. So you do the select, you do the difference like this. So I, I show that in the, in, the, in in this webinar. So so you got the point. The big advantage of freeing you, the big advantage of freeing freeing the top menu from the navigation like we had before is to avoid this: the stacking of navigation. One. Two, three, whoa. it's lots. You stack stuff. You make your layout cumbersome, complicated, and you have a lot of things. By doing this, we remove this from the top of the screen. Account client is there now. It's no longer on the screen. That means I can now use that here, here. So if I go to contacts, you will see I have details, list view, email, maps, follow up. Details, list view, email, map, follow up. So I have the same, but it looks much less cumbersome and complicated than before because I'm not stacking visually. I don't have this stack, you know, I don't have it. Visually, this is blah. You know, you have a lot of things here. That, that not, this one, this one, whoa, and this one. See, you have three, levels, three layers. Here you have only one. And if I get rid of this, it's even better. Now it's good. Detail, list, email, right? Detail. And here we have a master detail too, master detail. So details, master details. So, and here we have the navigation, the main navigation, right? And you can, you know, so I think we're good to go. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so this was the introduction of master details and I show how to build it uh, and the navigation. And I will show the navigation more in detail during the next week on the iPad. Okay. Because next week, let me bring the... My 
program here. So next week is for tablets. I don't want to use it. I don't want to call it iPad because uh, iPad is not a generic name. And uh, it's for tablets because you can use it on web on web directs. So it's for tablets. So next week, we're going to learn the, the what the difference between the touch, what makes the difference between a touch device and a desktop device, right? So, will be fun. Thank you very <laughs> much, everyone, for coming. We appreciate it. We're sorry about the earlier mix-up. Yes. Uh, thank you, Nick. We will see you next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Biomaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the Filemaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir.